Hi everyone, Yasas que Carlos Sirzate to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today I'm going to be making a spinach and feta salad that's going to have many of the flavors of spanakopita in a salad version. Sometimes salads can get a little old and boring, but this is going to go great with really anything. As a side, you can serve it alongside chicken, lamb, any leftovers that you have from the night before you can put on top. It's so delicious and so simple to make. Let's get started. So I'm going to begin by making the phyllo kind of like croutons that are going to go on top of the salad. I have a pound of phyllo. I'm only going to use a few sheets. It's thawed out. It's the number four phyllo, the one that's used for making most pastries like baklava. They're the thinner sheets. All we need are four sheets. Unless you're making a larger salad to feed more people, I would do just one per person. Just lightly brush each sheet with a little bit of butter, melted butter. This is salted butter. If you're using regular butter, then you can also season with a little bit of salt. This is optional. You, once you're done with the butter, just sprinkle a few sesame seeds on top. Then gather it up like an accordion. And then I just like to roll it so that way it looks like a little flour. And put it on a baking tray that's lined with parchment paper. And do the same exact thing with the remaining three sheets. You can do this with butter or even with olive oil. The remaining phyllo should be quickly wrapped up and then covered with either a slightly damp kitchen towel or you can wrap it with some plastic wrap and it can stay refrigerated for a few days and to be used for another recipe. Just brush some butter over the uh, little roses and bake them at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes or until they're golden and crisp. So while the phyllo is baking, you can go ahead and make the dressing, which is so simple to make. You're going to need a little bit of olive oil, about a quarter of a cup. Really, really good quality olive oil. We have some in our shop. Balsamic vinegar. I'm using the balsamic dressing that's from our shop. It's dark balsamic. Uh, it has a little bit of petimezi in here and rose oil. It's so good. About three to four tablespoons. And since this is already lightly sweetened, I'm talking about the balsamic dressing, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of honey it's just going to help thicken the dressing and sweeten it a little bit more. And the dressing is ready. I have baby spinach leaves here. They're already washed and dried. This is 10. You, you need about 10 to 12 ounces of them and about four or five scallions. I'm just going to thinly slice the scallions. I'm just using the dark green and the light green parts, and these are already washed. I'm going to add them to my big bowl. And I always like a little bit of extra crunch in my salad, so I have some walnuts here. I'm just going to toast them lightly over the stovetop until they're fragrant. Okay, so I thought I set the timer on my iPhone, um, but it didn't actually set, so they got a little bit extra brown, extra golden brown, and extra crispy, but they didn't burn, but they got close to it. So keep an eye on them because they bake quickly. Check them at 10 minutes. If they're ready, take them out. If they need a little more color, you could leave them in for a few more minutes. Let them cool. I toasted my walnuts and then I just roughly chopped them with a knife so they're nice and aromatic. Now, I'm gonna add a heaping teaspoon of dry dill to my salad. If you have fresh dill, you can chop it up and put a quarter cup in here. I don't have fresh dill and it's kind of hard to find, so I always have dry dill on hand. That's what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna season the greens with a little bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper. I didn't put any salt in the dressing. There is going to be a saltiness coming from the feta, so be careful not to go too heavy on the salt. I'm going to add the walnuts in here. You can add pine nuts instead, pecans, or you could even leave them out. It's up to you. All of the dressing, give it a toss. If you want to, you can put some uh, cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes in here for some more sweetness and a little bit of color. Even though this is all spinach, you could do half spinach and half arugula for the pepperiness of the arugula. And once the greens are tossed in the dressing, then go ahead and crumble in the feta cheese. I have four ounces of feta, that's about 100 grams. Try to use sheep's milk feta, it's creamy and just so much better tasting than cow's milk feta. Time to plate it. I just like to pile it high in a plate and then put the phyllo rose on top. You could even break it up if you want to. See how crispy it is? And that's it, it's ready to eat. If you want to add more flavor to the phyllo rolls or the phyllo flowers, phyllo croutons, and uh, you can also add some grated Parmesan cheese to them before you roll them up or even some kefalograviera, whatever you have on hand. 
Time for the taste test. Mmm. The spinach is so fresh, goes so well with that slightly sweet balsamic dressing and the creamy feta, the creamy briny feta. Let's taste. Mmm. The phyllo is flaky and buttery with a little hint of salt and so nice and crisp. This is such a fancy salad to serve at a dinner party, or you could even serve it on a busy weeknight to your family. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. The exact measurements are on the website, www.demetriusdishes.com. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.